Hey, Gemini. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to be doing your first half of August general reading here. We're going to start off with some animal energy, but of course, and then get right into the cards. All right. Let's see. What is the animal energy for Gemini for the first half of August? Please and thank you. Ooh, fascinating. Ooh, okay. So we have two for one here. Very different energies right off the top here. The lion is feeling very sure-footed, very confident, very strong, right? A lion energy has no room or no inclination towards self-doubt of any kind, okay? True strength here. Remember the, you know, the lion is depicted on the strength card. Then you pretty much have its complete opposite with the octopus here. <laughs> Do you see how the crown chakra, I love how this is depicted here in this deck. The crown chakra on the octopus is really kind of like muddled, filled with a lot of gunk, it's not clear, right? The, the crown chakra is what connects us to the upward, you know, realm of the divine and ether. It's where, you know, the direct line from um, up top comes through and gives us our intuition, which then filters through the third eye, right? We gotta get it from here and then we get it to here. The octopus is really about feeling uncertain. Again, the complete opposite of the lion energy. Feeling all over the place, feeling I don't know if I'm here or there or what to do. You know, as an air sign, my fellow air signs here, um, we can definitely, this is kind of our shadow energy, guys. This is being indecisive. This is just not feeling, feeling you know, overwhelmed, although overwhelmed isn't a real feeling because uh, at, the, at the root of overwhelmed is fear. Fear of making the wrong choice. Right? But we can get into this place of feeling overwhelmed, which is like, oh, I don't know, I just want to disconnect and just move away from it. I don't know, I just I can't make a decision. Right? As an air sign, our strength is seeing things from a clinical perspective. Right? And the positive aspect of that is it allows us to make decisions from a place of reason and just a rational mindset. Right? We don't let our emotions rule us or our emotions, emotions make our decisions for us. That is one of our main strengths. When we get into an octopus, octopus energy, think about it. Octopus is a water animal, right? Water, water signs are all about the emotion, right? So if we're in this place of feeling like an octopus where we're just in this realm of like feeling and I don't know, you know, which way is up and I can't see the forest or the trees type deal, this can be kind of like a shadow energy for an air sign, right? Again, you have two opposites here. Let's see how this plays out. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. It could be that you're in a place of feeling like this octopus energy here. Oh, you know what else I'm getting? The octopus is also about boundaries. Setting clear boundaries, uh, maybe realizing that boundaries need to be more clearly set, more lovingly set, whatever that is. Because look at all these tentacles up in your face. Right? Another thing about air signs, we do really, really, really appreciate a good boundary. Lovingly so, but we, we do, you know, like having our space, right? Even if it's just our personal space, like physically speaking, right? When we invite someone into that space, we mean it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay, so let's see what's going on for my, geez, lion and octopus, fascinating. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Ah, here we are. So we have the Ten of Wands here coming up for y'all. You know, the Ten of Wands is very much about, you know, maximum amount of effort. <laughs> Look at this crow trying to carry all of these Ten Wands, right? This can also uh, denote moving, but really it's about going from one completion, like a completion of something that might be that last leg of the race is the hardest you know what I'm hearing, um, to something completely new and beginning a new cycle because the 10 is the completion of a cycle. So you might be in a place where you're really trying to tie something up, but it's not It's not completely easy going. You might have people around you who aren't fans. I'm hearing even, you may even um, have time for, less time for things than you usually do or have had. It's kind of like, oh, Oh, I've really, yeah, I haven't caught up with this person in a while. I haven't taken a self-care day in a while. I haven't, whatever it is. But again, whether this is moving, this is at the end of the day, it's transitioning from the end of one point to the beginning of another with a lot of effort, okay? But again, I keep hearing the last leg of the races is the most difficult, okay? All right, let's see what else is going on for my Gemini. Oh, 
So we got the three of swords here, repping our air sign selves here. So yeah, three of swords. I mean, let's look at it. Yeah, it's heart pain, right? But it's heart pain that is further exacerbated by mental cardio and mental aerobics, right? Sometimes that can be really difficult um, for air signs. We, you know, again, like I said, our strength lies in our intellect, intellect, intellect and our mental sphere. So when we try to understand something that has not gone our way or something that has you know, caused us heart pain and we try to intellectualize it or understand it from that clinical perspective, it can really get us into this octopus-like energy and, and strength is needed with this lion strength here because if you think about it, sometimes heart pain, you just gotta feel it like a water sign so that you know it's gotta come up so it can come out. You've gotta really feel it to release it, right? So we could be kind of combating with the mind and the heart here around this heart pain, but either way, it looks like things, you know, there's, there's a lot of um, change and transition that I'm picking up on here, okay? All right, let's see what else is going on for my Gemini's. Ooh, what is this? Oh, geez, okay. <laughs> so we have the nine of wands <laughs> here we go let's talk about this um you could absolutely have a fire sign around you by the way because we have two wands and then the lion which is you know like leo energy fire energy here so nine of wands is what do we like to say about this it's that wounded warrior type deal but this is i mean just legit just like the this is feeling real tired <laughs> remember i keep saying the last leg of the the race is most difficult and it's right before the sun really comes out behind these clouds and really, you know, so you've got the, the 10 to the nine here, right? And then in between the two is the three of swords, right? This is really just feeling like, wow, I, I really need like several rests, <laughs> several vacations, preferably. But it's also can be this feeling of guardedness in terms of I can't take one more thing on right now. I can't answer one more phone call. I can't. Uh, do one more favor. I, I can't take anything else going wrong, right? Because I've had about all I can take and it's really taking everything I have to just deal with this nine of, uh, of wands space that I'm in, right? A lot going on for you guys right now. <clears throat> Let's get some clarifiers though. But of course, I will say, you know, we've got the six of cups peeking out here on the bottom. I do feel like for a good group of you, um, this could absolutely involve someone uh, in your atmosphere with whom you have an emotional attachment to. It doesn't have to be romantic, but it certainly can be. Remember, we have emotional attachments to friends, family, you know, and lovers, you know. <clears throat> Interesting. So we got the five of swords in reverse for the 10 of wands here. So when the five of swords is in the upright, this is someone who is not, you know, living up to their highest and best integrity, okay? So acting in a way outside of their integrity, really just kind of being willing to get away with murder. This is someone um, willing to get their own needs met even at the expense of others around them. Not cool. It's in reverse. So you could be, you, this could have happened some with someone, it could be at a job, relationship, whatever have you, around you where it's like, wow, um, they're not coming from a place of integrity. I see it clearly now and I'm about to get to step in, right? So this is an energy that, that you're moving away from and out of, right? Yeah. All right, let's get a clarifier for this three of swords here. Oh, I, was, I swear I was just going to say I felt like for some of you a relationship has ended. Um, and then we got the two of cups here to clarify the three of swords. Um, so two of cups is very much about a romantic soulmate connection. Okay. Again, 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 though, soulmates aren't just romantic in nature. They can be, you know, friends and, and you know doesn't have to be someone that we actually partner with, but you know, in, in, in the larger realm of things, it, this really does feel like someone that you absolutely have a lot of love for, okay? And there's pain around this, and it does feel like there is a relationship where either the writing is on the wall, <laughs> and you know that this is what needs to be done, or this has just happened, okay? The ending of a relationship with someone who you truly love, whether that's romantic or not, okay? 
and someone could have been in your energy that is now removing themselves from it um, in a way where it's like you you see it coming even before it fully manifests. I don't feel like this is necessarily something where it's like, snap, I'm gone, snap, I'm ghosting you necessarily. Or if that happens, you've seen the writing on the wall for a minute. It's been like a slow death, a slow decline in communication, a slow, 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 um, you know, lessening of uh, the dynamic stimuli, whatever have you. Okay, let's get a clarifier for this Nine of Wands here. I I'm getting, you know, now that the lion is your advice, having strength and, and understanding that you have all the strength that you need, maybe even more than you think that you do, to pass through these energies because you can trust that on the other side of this, new love, new opportunity awaits, right? If this is not in your highest and best good, which trust me, if it's leaving your energy, it's not. It's not in your highest and best good, okay? If there's something on the other side of it that, you know, has the potential to be of your highest and best good. So you've got the King of Cups here, beautiful, to clarify the Nine of Wands. So what I'm getting for you yeah, oh, there's a lot of like water and fire here. If you think about it, water and fire, they don't work well together. They extinguish each other, right? Or if you add, you know, fire to water, it, it heats it up, it bubbles it. They're, they're not two elements that necessarily, there's always exceptions, but they're not two elements that necessarily um, complement each other. Like for example, air and fire, right? It can be a diabolical combo, air and fire, but you know, they, they feed each other, right? Yeah. So this King of Cups here, uh, the King of Cups, you know, court card here, this could absolutely be someone around you um, or coming into your energy field here. This is someone who uh, is very well versed in how to let their emotions and their intuitive guidance work for them and not against them. This is not someone who is at the mercy of their emotions, right? Like some water signs can very much be at the mercy of their emotions, right? Absolutely. This King of Cups here, I feel because it is clarifying the Nine of Wands here, I feel like this is saying. Your emotions at this time, it may be difficult to see the forest through the trees. And yes, you may be feeling some heart pain. Yes, you may be suffering a loss or a separation or a disconnect of some sort involving someone that you absolutely have a love and or connection to. But at the end of the day, I feel like this is what's on the other side of that. I feel like you're going to come to a place outside of this where it's like, okay, okay. Things did not turn out exactly how I wanted them, but let's face it, uh, this whole thing, uh, I, it's, it's, I feel like you're going to get to a place where you exhaust yourself um, in terms of the, the heart pain. And, and a beautiful thing about air signs too is when we truly exhaust ourselves on something, whether it's feeling something or, or thinking with a certain like mind aerobics, we can stop like that, like a snap. Like once we're done, we are really, 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 really done. And I feel like this is saying like the tonic for you at this time is really having balanced emotions about it and letting your intuition come in and really serve as a healing tonic at this time or on whatever this is, okay? Because the King of Cups is beautiful. He's super intuitive. Um, he's an absolute empath, right? But it's not necessarily, you know, these, these gifts and strengths of, strengths of his, they, he uses them to his benefit. It's not something where he's like, I'm at the mercy, I feel everything, and I, uh, I'm so intuitive, and I don't know what to do with it. That's more the queen of cups for me. But the king of cups is a beautiful balance of discernment and emotional knowledge, right? You could also say emotional intelligence, right? Um, let's get an oracle for you guys. I feel like we're in need of some angel therapy. So let's get an angel for you guys. Okay, this is like a really cliche song lyric, but they're piping it through my head right now. I'm literally hearing the sun will come out tomorrow from Annie. And you know, when I taught, we know we are you know, lying here, we are in Leo season. We just entered into Leo season. I do feel like this is not going to necessarily be drawn out as much as it may feel at times. I feel like really the sun on the other side of this, I do 
feel and see you feeling some sort of relief or clarity around this loss or situation or whatever it is sooner than it feels like you will, okay? This octopus energy, definitely been here before and will be again on any given day, right? But this is, this is a very uncomfortable energy here. It just really, really is. And again, back to this boundary situation. I feel like for you guys, it's really having boundaries with yourself around where you let your mind go, how much you let your emotions kind of come out to play. Try to keep it constructive, even amidst the pain and loss and disappointment. Try to keep it constructive and keep your air sign self about you, right? But at the end of the day, it's funny because I feel like, I was saying this in another reading recently, like sometimes like the cure, like let's say that you're, you know, you, uh, you, you're, you know, you have poison, you're introduced to some poison of some sort. And then sometimes the antidote is a little bit of that poison mixed in with other things. I feel like the poison here is also the cure. That's what it feels like, that the poison is also the cure. And I feel like that has to do with your emotions. Right? Because what's getting you into this octopus place is this, is this three of swords, this, this heart pain. Someone who was not acting within their highest and best integrity that came out of the woodwork. And now you're like, crap. I've got to move on. They're moving on. It's, it's, it's going from one state of being to another. But it's like, if you can allow your emotions to live and breathe as they are so that you can then release them, that is the poison being the cure. The, the cure is not, I don't wanna feel this, I don't wanna feel this, I'm gonna be an air sign, push it down, distract myself, whatever that is. That's not what it is. It's almost as if let yourself feel this, but also you know, be sort of discerning about it, where it's like, okay, I'm gonna feel the pain of this to release it. I'm not gonna feel the pain of this over and over on an unending loop, right? That's what this feels like. And again, the lion is all about, all, all about, whenever you look this up in like an animal book, Ted Andrews, Stephen D. Farmer, the lion is always about you have more strength than you think you do to get through this ordeal, it says it every single time. And I do feel like the relief will come in Leo season. So I don't, I feel like this has the opportunity to pass through relative relatively quickly and seamlessly okay but a lot of that has to do with you setting boundaries with yourself right feel it to release it right not feeling it and hanging on and you know going into those uh depths as a way to just like you know avoid moving forward in some way because it feels you know painful i completely understand that but it really feels like what's on the other side of this is going to be quite literally the sun. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some angel guidance for you guys. Again, I just want to be clear about this. Like this ending, this heart pain, because it is general, this could really be about like a lot of different things. Again, a, a job, um, a person, whether that's romantic or family or, or even move, moving from one place that you've lived in for a while to another, whatever this is, but it is significant, right? And it is leading to a, a new chapter and a new energy. Oh, see, this is so nice. We have compassion. Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. This is brilliant because it says soften your heart. Once more for the seats in the back. Soften your heart, right? With respect to the situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Listen, I'm going back to this feeling of, of someone not being within their highest and best integrity. They could have been dishonest with you. You could have caught them in a lie. They could have uh, not done something that they said they were gonna do or did something that they said they weren't gonna do. Whatever this is, it really feels like there's a letdown in terms of um, someone around you or something around you not panning out like you really thought that it would. And and this is beautiful here because remember when I said that, you know, the poison is also the cure and it's talking about softening your heart. It's funny because, not funny, funny, but 
you know, the source of the pain is the heart, but at the same time, therein lies the cure, right? And I know this is gonna sound a little like extreme and not pleasant, but this is what I'm getting. You gotta let the swords pierce it threefold, right? Because think about it, if you're softening the heart, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna go through like butter and it's gonna hurt, right? But the sooner you let this in fully and feel it, the sooner that these can be removed and you can you know, keep to step in in your life. But think about it, if you harden your heart, let's talk about softening your heart. If you harden your heart, those swords are just gonna get in a little bit of a time and keep going, keep going, keep going, and press down, press down, press down, press down until they're fully in there and you fully feel the full extent of the pain. And you have to fully feel this in order to move on from it. Soften your heart, let yourself feel this pain, and ask your guides, your angels, your higher self, God, goddess, whoever that is for you, to discern and learn the lesson therein. That always works for me, and I hope it works for you too. It's all about discerning and learning from the lesson therein, because it's almost as if, if we can, you know, we're always like, why? What was the greater purpose of this? What was the reason, right? And sometimes when we come up with more questions than answers around that, that can lead us to some even more pain, right? More pain, having that guard up, right? But if we can truly release ourselves from the need to have the answers and just go, you know what, I don't need to know why. I don't need to know why, it's not for me to know. But could you please help me <laughs> discern and learn the lesson so that I can go forward, so that I can complete this test, this chapter, and move on to a new blank page, okay? All right, my lovely, lovely Geminis, my heart goes out to you around this. I feel like my heart's hurting uh, for you guys, um, but just try to keep in mind that, you know, again, the greater purpose is, is the lesson. And on the other side of it is quite literally the sun and strength. Okay? All right, my beautiful Geminis, this was your first half of August general reading. I really, really hope that this helped and resonated. Um, if it didn't, it did, please let me know in the comments below. I would just absolutely love that. And just thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, but at the end of the day, as always, just thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.